the damn place is haunted, sure is shooting. So President Harry S. Truman wrote to his wife, Bess, in June of 1945. He went on to complain about the ghosts walking up and down the hallway and entering his study. Truman renovated the iconic home down to its bones, but that still didn't stop the American spirits, great and small, from their nightly pursuits at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Here are some of the most paranormally active areas within the most famous haunted house in the world. The North Portico. So haunted, it might be said that this stately entrance is a porthole to the great beyond. The ghost of Anne Surratt, daughter of Mary Surratt, who was hanged for her role in the plot to assassinate Lincoln, pounds on the door and begs for her mother's life. A British soldier wielding a torch is often spotted here and on the grounds, perhaps the ghost of the very same man who burned the White House in 1814. Long deceased doormen still stand faithful guard here, no doubt ensuring that the ghostly Brit never gets inside again. The Rose Room. Since the 1860s, President Andrew Jackson has been heard stopping around while swearing a blue streak and other times laughing crudely in this elegant room. The most famous of the White House paranormal encounters occurred here. Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands fainted dead away when she answered a knock at the door and came face to face with Abraham Lincoln top hat and all. The East Room. When Abigail Adams, wife to the second president John Adams, needed to hang her laundry in the White House, still under construction, she chose the drafty, unfinished East Room. When Adams' adversaries clucked in disapproval, her renowned temper flared. Perhaps that's why her ghost has been seen hanging around the laundry in the East Room. As, e as recently as 2002. With the fragrance of freshly washed laundry filling the air, she's still angry. The Lincoln Bedroom. On March 18, 1986, President Ronald Reagan stunned guests at a state dinner when he admitted that his daughter Marie and her husband Dennis had both seen the ghost of Abraham Lincoln while sleeping in the Lincoln Bedroom. Dennis woke up and saw a tall, misty figure gazing out the window. The figure turned towards him, then vanished. Maureen had teased him about it, but a month later she awoke to see an unmistakable figure of Abraham Lincoln standing at the same window, looking out, and she could see the trees right through him. Just before he turned and simply disappeared, before her eyes. Reagan also admitted that on two occasions their dog Rex had stood at the threshold of the Lincoln bedroom barking frantically toward the window but refused to step a single paw into the room. Maureen and her husband were lucky compared to the other guests in the Lincoln bedroom. Winston Churchill had just stepped from his bathroom stark naked except for the cigar in his mouth when he saw Honest Abe's ghost standing by the fireplace. Even his British bulldog refused to spend another night in there. Others have reported seeing or feeling his presence in the Lincoln Room, included Gerald Ford's daughter Susan, dozens of household staff, and the First Ladies, Grace Coolidge, Lady Bird Johnson, and Eleanor Roosevelt. But in Lincoln's time, it wasn't a bedroom at all. Rather, it was a cabinet room where the great emancipator heard the latest terrible news of the war, and the commander-in-chief made the decision that spelled life or death to millions of Americans. No wonder why his tragic spirit haunts this beautiful room to this day. Once again, I'm reading the information that was sent with the village. 
Whether or not it's true, I have no idea. But I do find it interesting and entertaining. I hope you did too. Till next time, stay creepy.